Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. If I talk about uh, the pot, you know, basically you will be the Blue Prism developer or a bot developer. So at the end of the day, you have to build a robot. Okay. So we call it as a robot, we call it as a bot. Okay, so we call it as a robot, we call it as a robo or bot. Both are the same thing. Okay, at the end of the day you have to develop it. So when we talk about the bot, we you need to first understand what is mean by bot or what is mean by robo. So bot is nothing but uh, in terms of blueprism, it is a software robot. There are two types of bot. One is a software robot, one is a hardware robot. Hardware robot is something which you can see, uh, which you can see, which you can feel. Uh, if you if you went or if you go to a mechanical industry, there you, there you, there are some robots, hardware robots, which do some work. So that is a different story. Um, but in software robot, you will uh, provide some input, you will create some flowchart, based on that it provides you the output. For example, in your iPhone Siri, Siri is one of, one of the int artificial intelligent bot, you can say. Uh, you know, when you, when you ask something, she will provide you the details or she will pro respond it or she will execute it. If I say call to that particular person, then it will get called. So basically, these are the robots. So we are talking about the software robots. So software robots is nothing but uh, it is a flowchart wherein all the steps, predefined steps or rule-based task mentioned in that particular flowchart and that to get performed. Okay. okay. Again. In software robot, you will find two types. Okay, in Blueprism or in any RPA tool, you will find two types of bot or two types of robot. One is assisted robot or assisted bot, which is also called as a front end bot. Okay. This is something related to a assisting or providing a help to a user. So when I say this front end bot or assisted bot means what? This particular bot will have also this particular bot will work with user means it is not your process is not going to get automated 100 percent for example okay uh, in insurance domain if i want to do a claim summarization or if i want to process a claim summary and in between there is a step which which a representative needs to call that particular customer or maybe there is another step which bot cannot do we need to do it manually maybe Mm, uh, uh, you know, calling that customer or maybe validating those documents, right? Validating means mm -hmm. if that is correct or not, or valid or you know, checking that uh, valid document. So this is a manual step in between that claim process. So what I can do, I will create a front office robot wherein, based on the user input, okay. When I say user, the someone who is working on that particular dev, uh, machine. In this example, it is a claim representative. So that person will trigger this bot by using any keys or any buttons. And once that is get performed, then our bot will work. So basically, if I tell you, in this scenario, in this particular example, so there would be a pre-step before manual pre, uh, you know, automation or for automation before that manual step, and there is a manual step which a user user needs to do 
and the final one after that turn again bot needs to do this thing so in between so basically here my bot will execute okay so this will my bot will execute here bot one you can see okay then this is my annual step and and then this one is again my bot two so basically while running the bot one there is a step will reach wherein user needs to do something so user will do these things and then based on his task or her task she or he will call this bot to using the any key so this is called front end of robot wherein it is actually call it is actually giving you assistance to a user it is not fully automated okay now the second thing which uh, which is the, the second type of bot is nothing but back end bot or unassisted bot okay so when i say this so unassisted bot unassisted or we can say back end okay so this is something irrespective of major, uh, manual step there is no manual step is involved or there is no user is involved while doing that automation or there is no inputs required from user your bot will take care of everything obviously you don't need to automate such kind of process wherein a user inputs is required in this particular type okay so on a system bot completely work independently it gets start and it will get finished and whatever the desired output you want it will get created for example every day i'm getting an gmail uh, sorry i am getting an email uh, with which contains uh, order summary or maybe the new order for my inventory or for my you know sales i need to update or i need to add in the sap so what i'll do i'll create a bot which will read an email okay we read an email which will <clears throat> read all that data and put it into sap that's it and end the process so i don't need any user inputs in this case my bot will start. so this is a back end independent of the user input it will work so this is the second type yes you can create both the bots using any rpa tool but using the blue prism the front end bot or in between uh, whatever you want to trigger is not possible uh, there is a workaround there is a way to do that in blue prism in ui path there is a provision to create front office robot or assisted bot okay in automation anywhere that there is a provision in blue prism there is no such provision it means that you can only create unattended or backend board but as i told you there is a workaround or there is a way to do that what is that way i will tell you later on okay so front office board assisted board or front of you cannot create means there is no provision so basically in order to create this you need a event trigger or something to trigger this particular uh, board to after your manual step so this thing is not provided by blue prism so blue prism is completely based or work on the back end board or unassisted board but as i told you there is a provision or sorry there is a work around or there is a way if you want to create such kind of use case which i have explained here then there is a way which you will get to know once we actually start or once you actually know the process and everything okay okay thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today